Hey tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying one of my favorite Stillwater flies. This is a a marabou leech, and I've added a little bit of ostrich hurl to this fly just to help with the underbody and help kind of cover up those thread wraps that you'd normally get on a standard marabou leech. And this helps add a little bit of movement on the underside, and with a little bit of that. UV crystal flash the tail in this when it gets wet. It's just incredible. Check that out It's just uh, almost identical to a leech and it's got a little bit of weight underneath so you can either Dead drift this under a strike indicator or you can use it just to do a little bit of casting and uh, Stripping back don't forget to leave a message in the comments and I'll get you entered into our next draw so let's have a look at the material list and get started. Let's get a fresh hook in the vise. And today I'm going to be using a Mustad R75-79580. And this one's going to be a size 6. So we're going to add a little bit of weight to this hook before we get started. And typically what I'll do for a fly like this, I'll pre-cut a few pieces of lead. So in this case I've got about 2.5 inches or 6 centimeters of uh, 0 0.30 lead or you could use a non-lead weight rep for this and we'll just twist that on and just at the tips what I like to do is just either use your fingernail or you can use your scissors just to kind of push those tab ends down and get them kind of stationed on the hook shank. We're going to be using 140 denier Ultra thread in black for this pattern. And we'll just start on at the eye, and then we're going to basically secure down our weight wraps. And we'll just do that with a few wraps of thread all the way across. And then we'll kind of set our tail point, clip off the tag end of our thread. And then if you want, you can continue to wrap and you can get a few more wraps over top of your weight just to make sure that it's secured in place. Now if you wanted to add a little bit more weight you could add a cone head or a bead head to this fly as well. So this is a pretty simple straightforward pattern. We're just going to be using a few pieces of marabou. So this is how I prepare each of my clumps. I'll basically pull it away from the stem and then sort of roll it up just to kind of stack it into a small little clump. And that's, that forms a nice little tail for me. And we'll just tie that in. And I'm just gonna tie it to where the lead steps. And we'll just kinda use that to even out our body. And I measured it about the length of the shank hook. If you want a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, that's fine. You can always use a pinch rip to kinda shorten the tail a little bit. So we're going to be using a little bit of flash. This is the pearl, but we're actually going to be using a UV. You can kind of see how that's got a little bit more of a UV purple to it rather than the kind of the greenish white color of the of the pearl. So we'll take a couple strands. We're just going to sit a couple strands on each side of the tail. And once that gets wet, those will melt right into the tail. It's not uh, too overwhelming, but it's got just a little extra bit of flash in there. That's all you need. So we wrapped it on both sides of the tail, and we'll just trim off the excess. Next, we're going to start to wrap a body. And for that, we're going to use a couple hurls of ostrich. And we're going to tie this fly all black. So we're going to take three or four ostrich hurls. These ones are a little bit on the short side, so we'll use a couple extras just to make sure that we get a little bit of uh, material on the hook shank. We can advance that forward. 
And we're just going to grasp all the hurls together at once and just wrap them forward about 25% uh, of the hook shank length. And then we'll tie those off. And next we're going to do another wing of black mar marabou. And again, we're just going to pull that off right off the stem of a marabou feather. And then we're going to tie that in right on top of the hook shank, right up to where our ostrich left off. And we'll trim off the butt ends. get a little bit more ostrich here and we'll tie that in back to the base of where we tied in the marabou and we'll wrap that forward again but another 25 to 30 percent of the hook shank length and we basically we're going to continue this as we go up the hook shank and then we'll tie those off every quarter of the hook shank we cover now one thing you could consider doing with this fly, rather than tying it monotone all black, you can change up the colors of the either the wing or the, like in the marabou, or you could change the color of the ostrich. So if you wanted to do something uh, a little bit cool, you could actually mix in a little bit of red, perhaps use a black wing marabou, and then use a red ostrich hurl in the body just to give it a little bit of a, a different look or say an olive in black would be pretty hot or chartreuse in black or any combination you think is going to work in the waters that you fish. So we're going to add a little bit more ostrich here just to kind of finish up the body part of the fly and again we're just going to be using two or three ostrich hurls depending on the length. And I find this is a good way to kind of use up some of those shorter ostrich hurls. I tie a lot of flies where I need the length. So I typically have lots of ostrich hanging around that's a bit on the shorter side. So we'll use those up for leeches and that sort of thing. So we've added a third body part here and we'll just kind of tie that off. And we can actually just push the excess tips of ostrich back and they'll just melt into the wing. So we're going to tie on one final wing and you can see as I tie this in I kind of stagger the length of the marabou so it's, it'll be longest and thinnest in the back and then it'll build a little bit of volume towards the middle and then near the head again it'll taper down. So we'll tie in our fourth and final clump of marabou and we will pull that back and we'll start to form a thread head here. We'll trim off the butts. You just want to make sure you cover those up with a few wraps of thread. And then we'll add a whip finish to the fly. And if you want, you can go ahead and finish that off with a little bit of head cement, or you can use uh, something like uh, Solaris Bone Dry to finish off your fly. I'm going to use a little bit of Sally Hansen's for this one. So there you go. That's the Marabou Leech. Hey fly tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.